they gathered in front of Congress, carrying flowers and candles as a symbol of peace. But demonstrators say they'll continue the political fight to force President Horacio Cartes to end his attempt to change Paraguay's constitution to allow him to run again. We don't think that what the president wants through this amendment is the proper way for a re-election. Last Friday, 25 senators met secretly to amend the constitution. They want presidents to be able to serve more than one term. Hundreds of people took to the streets. Congress was set on fire and one political activist was shot dead by police. At the headquarters of the authentic radical liberal party, everyone is in mourning. This is the place where Rodrigo Quintana, the political activist, was killed on Friday night right after the protest by the police. You can still see the blood on the floor. People here say that this was not an accident, but a clear act of persecution where members of the police entered illegally the headquarters of a political party to hunt down members of the opposition. Efraín Alegre was also injured last Friday and claims that Paraguay is going back in time. We are living in difficult times where human rights are being violated of those detained, also of women who are detained. That only happened during the dictatorship of Alfredo Stroessner. President Cartes wants a meeting with the opposition and the church to find a way out of the crisis. But the businessman turned politician shows no sign of changing his mind on his constitutional amendments. And he has the support of some political opponents. The left would also like to see former President Fernando Lugo run again. The president hasn't realized what is happening. He does not have a democratic mandate to understand the voice of the people. He is a businessman, the owner of a company. What's unique about this project to reform the constitution is that it has the support of the president's party. It's left these protesters frustrated with politicians in general. They are disappointed and angry. They say their constitution was written in its current form to stop leaders clinging on to power and that it's worth defending. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Asunción.